call it perspective because it's my view of another architect's work. And I didn't want to put my work in that. I mean, that would be mad. Why would you, you know, I mean, St. Paul's is perfect. Why would you? I just wanted to, to, to get people to look at it, in, uh, rather like the book, is to get it, people to look at things the way I, I've seen something. And so when, when you walk into the tower and look up, you see this extraordinary sort of spiral like a, like a snail above you. But you have to sort of crick your neck. And then when you're at the top of the stairs, you can look down and you see the light on the stairs and you see a similar thing. But, but the only thing that changes is, of course, the, you're looking at the top of the stair rather than the underside of the stair, and, and of course, the way the light falls on it. And, so, and because, because the stair is so delicate, you couldn't get lots of people to walk on the stair, so they can't use the stair. So what I've done is to, is to have a mirror at the bottom of the stairs, a, a, a big mirror. And uh, so when you look down at the mirror, you're looking up. But also I put in the middle of the mirror, I put a, a lens. So if you look in the lens, you see the reflection of a mirror in the dome, showing you the view as if you were looking down. So when you look down, you're looking up. When you look down, you're also looking down. <laughs> you're looking down. So, so it allows you in two things to see what is it, the, you know, the beauty of this extraordinary uh, volume and, 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 and staircase and the light.